Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to my classic car. Well, this week, we're up in Langley, British Columbia for the Jellybean Autocrafters Canada A show. This thing's really cool, being held at the historic Langley Speedway, and there's about 500 of some really, really interesting cars. Beautiful day here today, so let's get around and check out some of these Canadian rides. This is really nice. This is a rare car. Packard engine in a Studi, and it's meant to be. What is this, this model? Is Belvedere. I mean, it's uh, pretty crazy. Yeah. Ewald, how you doing, man? I'm doing excellent, Dennis. How are you? Hey, and happy Canada Day, eh? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Canada hey. Day, eh? We're paying homage to Canada Day. <laughs> very clever. I like it. So, uh, you know, you're Jelly Bean Autocrafters. You and I first met uh, the first time I shot at, uh, in Penticton, the Peach City Beach Cruise. Yes, we did. So then annually, you do this kind of party, right? Yes, we do, yep. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you've brought that party to the historic Langley Speedway. That's right. So what's the, what's the history of this place? The, uh, the track was founded in 1958 yeah. um, uh, by an, uh, an individual who owned the, uh, the place. And he's, uh, his dream was to have race cars here, so we built the track. and. Brought the road down, brought the electricity down, and all this stuff. Because it was the in the middle of nowhere to begin with. Right? Yeah. Just, I mean, it's the coolest setting. It's it is a, great, yeah. You actually let everybody come in, do a parade lap, and then park, right? That's correct, yeah. So that's got to be a hit. Well, we get people, when they do the parade lap, later on, they're, they're saying, it's almost as if you can hear the cheers from the fans. <laughs> exactly, sort of thing. And it's a rush. It really is cool. How long have you been doing the show? Because again, this is really just a celebration for you guys. Yes, it is. Yeah, this is the 13th year. Yeah. We haven't come to this track for several years, um, uh, but we're back again. Every year that we were not here, we always had people saying, when are you going back to the track? And, uh, <laughs> so this year, we actually called the show back to the track because well, of that. Uh, no, we did so, you really? Wow, that's yeah. great. But man, I got to tell you also, Ewald, there's some wild stuff here. There's some stuff I haven't seen. Uh, that's There's, one of the reasons I love coming up here, because I see different cars. What do you say we get around and check a few of them out? Let's do that. Let's That'd be awesome. do it, man. Hey, thank you very much, Dennis. This chap, who's got some really interesting cars himself, restored this baby. And I actually met this guy in 99. Yeah. Time flies, you know? <laughs> well, Roger, I saw you rolling in this thing, and I went, that is the biggest doggone roadster I think I've ever seen. This is a crane simplex, right? Yeah, it is. What year? It's a 1915. These cars were a big deal. This was a high, high-end car yeah. in its day. Only the very wealthy could afford these cars. So in the interesting, one of these things, the way the, the frame is done here, and you know, the, the, it comes out, hooks down, leafs underneath it, you still got the, the wood spoke wheels on it. My goodness. Yeah. Now these things, it's a, obviously part of the suspension. Those are error correct. Those are from this car. So they're a 103 year old shock. And again, you know, Roadster, you think you're going to be really close together. This thing is big. It's very spacious. There's tons of elbow room. I mean, it's the original lens. So you got Spark Advance and all that stuff. Spark Advance, a strong arm steering. Actually, yeah. it's quite easy to downshift. This rear end, this flat rear end, and I guess that's where the spare is. It just spare looks and awesome. That. And of course, you got your wicker trunk. Yep. Oh. I've got an old driving coat. I got some vintage <laughs> apparel in there. I got a 1915 replica of a BC license plate. That's actually the serial number of the car. No kidding. That's what they looked like. That's back what then. they looked like. I've always loved the look of a simplex engine. What do you say we go up and check it out? Let's have it. All right. You know, <laughs> these things are just such interesting looking engines, you know, cast in two different pieces. And is that, that's all uh, cast aluminum down below, I yeah, think. Yeah, it is. What are these weird handles? These, like, drawer pulls? I've actually taken them out, and there's, to be truthful, there's not a lot in behind there. I've never seen that. It's yeah. like the engine's got drawers. It does. <laughs> and that's what it, exactly what it looks like. Exactly what and it looks like. And updraft carburetor. Yep. It's not the original car, but he's picked the right one, because this car, it literally just purrs. Wow. You weren't kidding. Hey, you know, you get down to the point you can almost count the RPMs. Yeah. About as smooth as I've ever heard one. Dead quiet, and the fan blade on there, it's almost like a hurricane or a tornado. It just really draws in the air. So she runs cool? She's running at about 140 degrees. You cannot beat that. The other interesting feature on this car is if we were to look on the passenger side of the motor, it has an onboard air compressor. So right. if you have a flat, pull your tire off, oh, fix no the kidding. tube, and you can air up your tire. Boy, they thought of everything, didn't they? They thought of everything. Wow. I mean, okay, so 1915 Crane Simplex, what model? It's a Model 5 Roadster. Model 5 Roadster. Magnificent car, Roger. Thanks, Thanks for bringing this baby yeah. out. Well, Victor, this is cool. This is a, uh, this is a, a 75 Dodge Charger, right? It is. My mother had one of these. <laughs> it was in blue, but she, uh, you come rolling in and went, my mom had that car. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the other cool thing about this, you've had this from new. 
So you checked all the boxes. I want this, I want this, I want this, right? Uh, it was quite a thing for the dealer. I, <laughs> uh, I guess I was a handful. Okay, what's the color? It's blaze yellow. Blaze yellow. They're very square, but they actually, did they, they race this car, is that true? They did they race it with a 440. But uh, it's about as thoughts. aerodynamic as a brick. <laughs> yeah, and how could it work? Uh, were these special order hubcaps, or was that the stock cap? That yeah. was the best one you could get for it. Yeah, so you so, che you checked all the best boxes, right? Well, yeah. yeah. My mom didn't have those hubcaps. I, I can't remember <laughs> those. I like the vinyl top on it. How do you keep it even this clean? I guess lock the garage and me being very a, fussy. A bit it. meticulous. Uh, Factory on roof? It's a manual. It's oh, a you crank that, baby? I like the buckets, the high back buckets, burl walnut, uh, <laughs> Genuine simulated burl walnut, <laughs> <laughs> plastic dash. Well, but the nice, nice, the nice detailing around it that usually rubs off. And your, yours is in great shape. I can't believe yeah, that. Yeah, no, I had no trouble that way. And I like wow. the, you know, the louvered opera window. You know, and you get back here. It's interesting. This thing almost looks Ford, but it's, it is, it is a Dodge, <laughs> man. It is a Mopar. You're it a Mopar is, guy. It I is sense. a Mopar. I'm in the Mopars <laughs> club. <laughs> so, uh, I don't even remember. I, I, what engines they came with. I think mom, my mom had the small V8. What do you have in this? Let's go, well, let's just go look. What do you say? Yeah. It's hmm, okay. a 360. Oh, 360. Mount. Totally brought back memories when you opened it up. Cause this hood hinge is really unique. I very, mean. Very different. Yeah, the way it, it rolls over a, 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 a little slide, right? Yeah, it's just a, like a waterfall, I guess. Yeah. So no it's, springs. It's different. It is very, it is very different. Now, That's it. this is all original. You've had it from new. It looks amazingly fresh. I mean, have you ever had the engine out? The engine's never been out. I do paint the block because you keep that clean for a collector plate. So oh, you do. You have to. Is that one of the rules up here? Well, they want it clean and no oh, rust. Right? So you get in there and paint the block. Rail yeah, can in place, eh? I do it that way, but car guys would never do this. Some <laughs> do, some don't, because it's very tedious, and uh, you want to do a reasonable job. Yeah. So, Victor, this is so cool. This is a 1975 Dodge Charger SE in blaze yellow, manual sunroof, ordered new from the factory Factory by you. Ordered. Unbelievable. Yeah. Factory I love it. ordered. Thanks a lot for bringing it out, Victor. That's Thank so cool. Thank you, Dennis. Now, Rob, most people know that I'm kind of a Studebaker guy, yeah. you know? Yeah. And uh, this happens to be a Studebaker, but it's a kind of rare one because this is a 1965 Studebaker Daytona, right? Correct. Studebaker went out of business in 1964 in the US. Mm -hmm. But they still made them up here in Canada. Moved to Hamilton. For two more years. Yeah. And that's what this is. That's what this is. This is a Canadian Studebaker. Absolutely. Now, this is also a body style that, you know, you think of Studebakers, you, a lot of things come to mind. This body style doesn't usually. No. And when people see these things, they think they're Ramblers. Absolutely. Maybe yeah, Falcons. First thing. It's almost black, but it's actually a deep, deep blue, right? Yeah, midnight blue. Just such a funky car. When you take it to shows, do people know what it is or not? Not really, no. They just sort of look at it and wonder, what is it? Just like <laughs> I did, same thing. So this is neat because it's a little family car. Mm -hmm. But the Daytona was kind of the sporty version though, right? That's right. So bucket seats came with it. This was the original build on the thing? Original build. Seats haven't even been replaced. They're so it's original upholstery too? Original upholstery, yes. Wow. The gauging setup's actually pretty fancy. But again, this was this was a V8 car. Yes. This was a kind of a like a, a little hot rod in its own right. Uh, absolutely. And since it's Canada Day, of course you've got the Canadian flag. Oh, for sure. Oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I didn't notice till just now. It's actually it even as a vinyl top. Yeah, Is that that's the original? All, all original. Yeah. Oh man, and the V8 badging. Yeah. The other thing that I find interesting about these cars is how high up the tail lights are. I mean, they're way up here, and there's really nothing else under there. Is that all the original chrome it's too? That's everything original. Well, it's it's a V8 engine. It's kind of an interesting V8 engine. Let's go look at it. Sure. Yeah, now it says Studebaker, it says Thunderbolt V8, 283. I would have thought this would have had the 289, the Studebaker engine, but they quit making the Studebaker engine, right? So it came from uh, GM. So it's actually a 283 Chevy, GM. Yeah. 280, yeah. That dropped right in there, and that's what they did for all Studies in 65 and 6, right? Yeah. Man, oh man. How's she run? Runs good. Yeah? Do you drive this much? Or drive is it, it every day. No kidding. Every, every, every day that it's not raining, that's for sure. This is really a great car, and you don't see them very often anywhere. Very rare in the States, being yeah. a Canadian car and everything. Yeah. So 1965 
Studebaker at Daytona. Sports. Sports made in Hamilton, Ontario. Absolutely. Yeah. Man, I love it. Thanks, Thanks. for bringing it up, Rob. Thanks, Way man. cool. Well, Scott, I really like Cougars, but I love this one. This is really cool. This is a 68 XR7G. Yes. I'm not familiar with that. What is the G? Well, the G was in honor of Dan Gurney, oh, famous okay. race car driver, you know, famous driver for Ford and Mercury, you know, yeah, did yeah. the Le Mans and all sorts of stuff. Was it one year only? This one is, yes. It okay. was actually supposed to translate into multiple years, but it, it didn't, huh? It just went one. Now, is that, is that a special scoop? <clears throat> It's the XR7G HUD scoop. Now, is it a dummy scoop, though? I mean, it is a dummy uh -huh. scoop, yeah. Well, it's you know, it non-functional. It looks marvelous. No, it, it, it does, <laughs> yeah, there. Cougar pulled off the hideaway headlights. Not mm. everybody did, no. you know? But I think Cougar did. And I just love this color. What is it? Modras Blue, it's called. Oh, man. These are the special wheels, the cursed wheels, right? <laughs> the cur yes. All the early models of them have them. They were recalled in April 1968. That's got to be more rare than the car itself. Came with a, a vinyl top. Yep. And a sunroof. Yes. Of the 619 Gs produced, 400 and something actually have the power sunroof. Man, this upholstery is nice. So you had both the smooth and the pebbled, or right? Yeah, they call it Levant. Levant. Yeah, Levant, of course. Nice. You know. And the Cougars just had such a great dash. I mean, they, yeah. these cars looked elegant. They looked high end. I mean, this, you know, of course, it's a sister car to the Mustang, but this thing was always more of a luxury car. Right, and you know, the dash in the XR7G is a little bit different. I love that, because that's so, you know, I mean, it's so race, <coughs> flip, flip, flip. Oh yeah. And then you, yeah. you got the flyaway. Yeah, I got tilt-away steering wheel. I mean, this, boy, this is in beautiful condition. This is quite a restoration. <laughs> and then the other great thing, both T-Bird and Cougar. Yeah. One, two, three, one, so, two. Yeah, yeah. beautiful the sequential taillights. The gurney probably came with uh, kind of a special engine too. Let's go look at it. Sure, why not? Wow, it looks nice too. This is a, what they called the Super 302. Oh. Uh, basically it's a 302 4V. Is it a solid lifter engine or is it a hydraulic? No, no, it's, it's basically your run of the mill 4V. Uh -huh. That is an optional air cleaner. Um, the valve covers, all G's had those valve covers. I did add the Cougar scripted intake manifold, which is rare uh -huh. as hen teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the dress up on this, cause this, you know, you. You open this up, and that's like, man, that's a cool looking engine. 1968 Cougar XR7 G. G. Beauty. Thanks, Thanks very much. Well, Rob, this is a car you don't see every day, or actually at all. <laughs> I'd heard of these. This is an NSU Prince, right? Yes. And I saw this this morning, and I thought, oh, it looks like somebody shrunk a BMW 2002. Yep. That's because that's yep. what it looks like. It looks like a, yep. you, left, you put it in a dryer. And it shrank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's the deal? They're actually German cars, yes. right? This is a German-made car, but for the UK market. It's UK specification. Because because that's the other thing. Yeah. So I'm looking at a right-hand drive car, and I'm going, wait, wait a minute, it's a German car, it's got a right-hand drive. And it, it, How did it get to Canada? I was living in the UK. Uh -huh. I bought it there 20 years ago so from the original bought, owner. Oh, you bought it in and then brought it here? And then brought it here last year. What are these little things? Those are those are actual parking lights. In Europe, if you're parked on an unlit road at night, you right. had to display a light, and that way you could just have one light on the exposed side of the vehicle that was visible front and rear. Oh, so they're so they're uh, independent. Yes. Oh, yes. interesting. Yes. So you could turn you can, this one can on, turn, but not that one. Yeah. Or, or vice versa. One. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, so of course you're reaching on the right side to operate it because that's where the controls are. That's it. An original interior, I'm assuming. Yep. Pretty nice door panels. Yeah. And, and actually really nice gauging. Oh yeah, it was an economy car, but it wasn't a cheap economy yes, car. It was, yeah. it appealed to professionals, engineers, uh -huh. people like that who needed a small car, but wanted something that was well made. Ooh, this is really cool, man. Yeah. And how does it handle, by the way? Very well. Really? Yeah. Oh, almost like a mini, maybe? I mean, is it kind almost. of Almost, like a little different, because it is rear engine. It is swing axle, but it's, there's not a lot of power, not a lot of weight, so swing axles aren't a problem on this yeah. car. Yeah, well, and that's the point. Yeah. It, it is yeah. a rear engine, so let's, yeah. let's see. Yeah. Let's see this thing. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. This is actually the big block, right? Sort of, yeah. They made a slightly smaller version. It was uh, 583, I think, was the smaller one. This one's 598 cc. CC, so it's not quite 600. Not quite, but two cl classified as a two cylinder. <laughs> two cylinder. And is it air cooled? Yes. It is air cooled. I really dig this car. So, like I said, I didn't know what the Prince was. Um, and the only other NSU that we've ever actually done was one that Jay Leno has. Yep. But it wasn't a Prince, it was a yep. uh, Spider. Exactly. Yeah. So a 1971. Yep. 
NSU Prince UK Spec. Yep. Wow. What an interesting car. Thanks yeah. for bringing it out, Rob. Thank you. <laughs> I love this thing. Yeah. Oh, man. The Canada Day Car Show up here in Langley, BC is a blast. Jellybean Autocrafters really knows how to throw a party. You ought to check this one out. Hi.